Welcome to the N1HD test deck. <laughs> I put up a 10 foot pole on the deck because I purchased a pair of these M2 2 meter loops for a horizontal 2 meter Omni. And I made my own phasing harness. Trying to save myself like 150 bucks I want for that thing. So anyways, the bottom one, connected phasing, favoring the right side. And this blue line, which is three quarters of a wavelength, 75 ohm cable, favors the left side. And after a couple hours of adjusting and testing and separation and uh, about 45 and a half inches apart this red line is a quarter wavelength long by the way so got it connected up to frequency counter and analyzer and now I'm about 144.1. 144.2 was my target. See if I can get it close. A little over. SWR is right down there, pretty decent. <clears throat> sure how high I can go around 2 to 1 it's up to 146.3 so it's not too too broadbanded but uh, I want to be down I'm gonna be down here so now that I have all my measurements documented I do have a 10 foot mast up on top of the tower where these are gonna work. They should end up around uh, 50 feet off the ground. Should work good. Okay, as a test, I moved them up the pole and I rotated them 90 degrees just to simulate taking them off and put them back on as per documented instructions and um, it stayed pretty decent so we're at 144 SWR is still fantastic it, it, it shouldn't have changed anyways just want to make sure so pretty soon you're gonna live right up there on that 10 foot mast underneath the diamond. So I decided to use uh, some 75 ohm CATV cable. Um, you could use RG6, RG11. I'm not running a lot of power, so I think this will be fine. Um, the instructions for the uh, M2 loops um, they suggest mounting 36 to 50 inches and optimally uh, mine ended up being at 45 and a half to get the best SWR at uh, frequency I want to run them at some of the other things I tried was uh, lining them up Whereas the top one here favors the left side. This one favors the right side. I switched it over. I tried uh, different lengths of uh, feed cable. Uh, like three quarter wavelength on the bottom and the top. Um, your adjustments change. Separation is different. Um, the SWOs are all over the place in the resonant frequency would change as well so 
I decided to use the uh, lengths, uh, the specs I found online of the phasing harness that they sell you for 150 bucks, and uh, went with that. And went from there. I just wanted to show real quick uh, what I did to make this phasing harness. This is the 75 ohm mini cable that I used um, with an F connector. Um, this is uh, one of the lengths I tried that uh, ended up not working out. And in order to make these work, I used an F to L, uh, PL259 adapter and then uh, got some some red heat shrink to uh, make it look good. I guess I didn't need red but I didn't have any blue so I used some black heat shrink on the top one and uh, obviously once this is up I'm gonna zip tie everything make it uh, make it look good not hanging like it is here and weatherproof the final connection. Okay, I got the loops up on the mast. I really wanted them up a little bit higher, but uh, with my belt strapped to the top of the tower, I put the top one up as far as I could reach and be able to tighten it. And then I measured 45 and a half inches down uh, and lined them up. In this angle, they don't look lined up, but I've got a still I'm going to throw in here that shows it straight up from the ground. and. It lined up pretty good. All right, let's go in and look at the meter and see how we did. All right, back in at the uh, N1HD shack and just do a little adjustment here. Let's see where she wants to be. Get it right down to nothing. And 144.4. Let's see where we're at at 144.2, which was my target. Back up just a little bit. take it hope you enjoyed the video comment below thanks